So Amy says, uh, I just discovered Microsoft's to-do list. I think I love it. Does anyone <laughs> use it? Uh, please share any tips for best ways to get the most out of it. And uh, are both of you to-do users? I am. It's something that uh, I've been using for probably two or three years. It it was previously, uh, it was a product that Microsoft purchased. I, I forget the name Wonder, of what it Wonder was. List. I, yeah. It was Wonderlist. 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 So I was, oh, yeah. yeah. Yes, yep. I was addicted to Wonderlist and it used it to great effect for managing my personal to-do lists at home, my to-do at work, and just, you know, the, the basic stuff that instead of always scribbling things down, I would have it with me on my mobile device wherever I went, and it was quite productive. And I, and I still use it today, and, and I'm just going to caveat by saying, like, it's for my personal productivity. And uh, what about you, Hal? Do you use to-do as well? Um, not as much as a lot of folks do, yeah. unfortunately. Um, I started off with Wonderlist. It didn't really feel what I needed done. They moved it to 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 to, to do, and I just simply haven't explored it as thoroughly as it right. needs to be. There's a lot of people that swear by it. Yeah. Uh, so it's, it's one of those. Yeah, I get yeah. your butt out of gear and into gear and and go check that out. But yeah, well, no, uh, as yet, not a whole it's, lot. It's not meant to be like a project management tool. It's not. I mean, some people that need more complex, then they'll go build things in Planner or over in formal project. That like that's not it. I mean, there's, I think there's still a lot of work to be done, but I mean, so, you know, Amy's asking like best practices for it. So I, so I have it on my phone. I, so I use to do every day. I have it desktop and phone. I have different views, but I have links between things. So for example, I have, uh, so I use personally, like my shopping list is on here. So, uh, you know, my wife and I used to do the sticky by the, by the back door to into the garage, you know, anything for whoever goes to the grocery store, we both write it. I now have it in to do. And I say, you know, it's a shared list, but my wife has never used it. Mm -hmm. Uh, but, uh, you know, mm -hmm. but I'll go and capture everything there. Um, but what I love about it on, in the desktop and I do, I have, I can access it. Um, so I have a work tasks and lists. So if I get assigned to any, this is the best thing about it. We, a lot of teams, a lot of organizations, groups within my company will use planner. And if they assign something to me anywhere, it will roll to my tasks assigned to me list in to do so I can access it on my phone, but I really use it more for, I use personal on my phone and I do everything work on the desktop version of to do. What I love about that, I can go through all the various tasks that are assigned to me. Some have due dates, most do not. And I, so I will go and prioritize them based on what I'm working on. I will drag them over and mark them for my today so I can log in or, or schedule it for tomorrow. So when I open up my today version of it and that next day, there's all the items that I know I need to do on that day. So it's great to do when you just, you need those reminders of what do I need to do on Friday before I am gone for the weekend on vacation and put that list together. Mm -hmm. um, but also having access to all of those links. I mean, other things to do uh, syncs with, uh, for example, uh, you know, any links from, uh, you know, flagged emails, there's a flagged email report, yep. um, any tasks that are assigned, any, uh, so you can also, if you have, Tasks that you identify that you flag within OneNote will roll to tasks in Outlook and then find their way to your to-do in the flagged emails. So there, there's multiple ways that you could leverage. I also have, I went on my Amazon-based uh, voice assistant, whose name I won't say so that she doesn't <laughs> think I'm talking to her. Um, I You can switch by default the list application and you could have it go to to do so you can go to Siri or you can go to the Amazon device. I don't know. I've not tried it with Google, but I, I expect you could do the same thing with Google swap out the task tool and save to your list and it'll automatically appear on your, on your phone. So really cool integration. Yeah. That, that's a great, Per, like productivity hack to to do those. I haven't done them. I, I wasn't aware that you could do that, but that's something very interesting. 
I think I did uh, a blog post like two years ago yes, about yeah. that. Yeah. I uh, so I'll take. I have yeah, to my do on my mobile one device. One note that I pretty like much you. live and die by. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, I have to do on my my mobile list as the app, and then on my desktop work computer, I'm using the PWA progressive web app installation yeah. of to do. So he gives me the little icon on my taskbar that I can interact with quickly. But, you know, the last whatever, three or four months to do has been highly integrated into Outlook. So now it's just an option in the, the left rail of Outlook. So like I'm in there all the time. And so when we started talking about this, I said I use it to great effect for my personal productivity. And so and so are you as well, Christian, and many others. So th there is a point where the freedom of to do for yourself is great. But if you try and roll that up to a team to manage a project, like Christian was saying, this this tool, you'll find its limits really quickly. And there are other solutions in that Microsoft 365 stack, like Planner. Uh, if you outgrow Planner, you can move to something like Microsoft Lists and make something more bespoke for your needs. Uh, and if your needs are even higher than that, then you know you're getting into Project or Azure DevOps or you know whatever is suitable for your organization. But as a productivity tool for yourself, it's great. There's nothing more rewarding than clicking done and hearing that little bell go off, and you start cranking those things off your mobile device in the uh, the grocery store or the hardware store, wherever you're at with your list on your mobile phone. You look like a, a person on a mission. So, yeah. all good. So Amy, yes, you're not the only one who loves to do. I'm a to-do fan. Yep, for sure.